Hi folks, thanks for tuning in. Again, if this is your first time tuning in, my name is John Solano. Uh, certainly I can't go into the long bio that I had done in the, in the first one, uh, but I will let you know that um, I've been a counselor and therapist for a couple of decades, um, probably about since about 1987. And in 1993, I began to pay a lot of attention to what so many people are tuned into right now, was, which is this, this tidal wave of entitlement and indulgence that is, is sweeping our country and our world, actually. Uh, and it's permeated every aspect of our lives. Um, people everywhere are, are shaking their heads, going, what in the heck is going on uh, in our country, in our neighborhood, in our families, in our schools? There seems to, it seems that, you know, all these places are, are confused uh, and have broken away from the moorings of, of what used to be morality, common sense. Um, in the following clips, I'm not sure how many there'll be, could be a dozen, could be a hundred, but I want to explain to you, to share with you, uh, the result of, of my observations and studies, um, again, beginning in 1993, specific to this, this phenomenon, this tidal wave, wave of magnified uh, entitlement and indulgence um, that we are all um, immersed in at this time. And I want to do this um, in the hopes that you will find it not only helpful, but inspiring in a way that will give you the resilience, tenacity, um, you know, and, and, and confidence to, to be a champion in your homes, in your communities, in your workplaces, um, to, to uh, stand for what is right and true, if you will, as a matter of, of integrity. Um, so what I want to do in this clip um, very quickly is, is and they'll probably, I'll probably have to do a couple of parts on this um, because it, it can be a very quite involved discussion. Um, you know, but before we can begin to look at what's going on in the world and different events, we have to have a framework. We have to have a, a lens that we can look at it with. Um, otherwise, it, you know, it's, it, we don't see things clearly. Um, and so I will be giving to you in the following clips bits and pieces of a framework um, in which you know, it will give you a foundation. It will give you, if you, it'll give you a lens where you can see more clearly how this uh, phenomena of entitlement has, has permeated our lives and, and the impact that it's having. Um, but I wanted to just talk a little bit today about, about entitlement. Um, and I'll share with you probably, you know, in what I, in a way, in what I call reflections. And so as I reflect on things, you know, I've come to these conclusions or, or witness these things. And when we talk about entitlement, think about, about it in, in, as a matter of true and false. There's true entitlement and there's false entitlement. What is true entitlement? Well, true entitlement is when somebody bestows a title upon you. It's like when you get a promotion or when you graduate from school, you know, from, from high school or college or, you know, you receive a certificate of, of you know, you, uh, you're authorized, you get credentials for something. Now, how do you end up with those certificates, those diplomas, um, those authorizations? Well, you end up with those because you have conducted yourself in a way um, that has allowed you to meet, if you will, the criteria that's necessary in order for you to receive the, the title. You have acted with humility. You have, you have submitted yourself to, you know, to the to the policies and procedures if you will to the guidelines and expectations and you have stepped up and met those expectations you wanted to you, you wanted to achieve something you sacrificed much of yourself and and 
and you obtained it. That's true entitlement. False entitlement is when a person, I guess you could say, gives themselves authority, gives themselves permission. It would be, almost be like if someone, if you will, used Photoshop to create their own graduation certificate or, or you know, a false, if you will, driver's license, uh, you know, uh, false identification, false, uh, you know, graduate diploma or certificate. Um, when that person takes that of themselves and has not humbled themselves, has not met expectation, has not gone into a position of submission, um, that is false entitlement. And that is also a state of immaturity. So mature entitlement, if you want to call it that, mature entitlement, really the cornerstone of that is humility. It's a position of humility. What it leads to, though, is that you become entitled, you receive title from a greater authority. The good news is that nobody can take that away from you. Once you have it, it's yours. It doesn't matter. You know, if my house burnt down to the ground and, and there was nothing but absolute ash and it burned up all my diplomas and all my certificates that I've earned, it wouldn't make a difference. Right? Because, because I didn't give those to myself. If you will, uh, copies of those certificates or, you know, the person or the, or the institution that granted me those certificates, they still have them on record. I didn't give them to myself. They're beyond defilement. They're beyond question. But false entitlement uh, is, is, is different. A person has to defend it. A person has to protect it. It can be stolen from them. It can be taken from them. They can be found out to be a fraud. You know, you begin to scratch the surface of this person's knowledge, of this person's you know, self-prescribed authority, and you find it very shallow. Because underneath that, there's an insecurity. Because the person knows that they really haven't done what it takes to be entitled. It's interesting that built into our psychological makeup, there's a what I call an archetype of desire and sacrifice. What does that mean? It means that every time that we, if you will, receive a freedom, any time that we desire something, the, the, the psyche, the human psyche knows value of that thing by what it has to sacrifice for it. I've always said, you know, I never want to do anything. I never want to belong to a club, if you will, that uh, didn't ask me to give something up. Which, by the way, is a very important uh, principle for all parents. You know, when we, when, he, when we just give kids entitlements, when we allow our children to have a sense of entitlement without responsibility for it, what do we create? What we used to call we create a spoiled brat. But actually what happens is that we cripple the person. The person never really builds the depth of character they need in order to be successful in life. For us as human beings, to build character, to build personal resilience, to build self-confidence and self-esteem, we actually have to make personal sacrifices when we want freedom. That's why people know this in their hearts. They know that, that freedom requires sacrifice. Freedom and responsibility go hand in hand. That's the archetype. So in false entitlement, there's no sacrifice. In other words, the, the person gets what they want without having to do anything for it. That's what we call immaturity. Now, of course, oftentimes, you know, the person who gets something for free without having to work for it at first feels like they got a good deal. 
But actually, you know, they got robbed and they didn't even know it. You know, I often explain to teenagers, you know, kind of one way to think about it is, is you know, okay, I say, okay, you want things to be better in your family, you, you know, you want to get stronger, etc. But think of it this way, like going to the gym. How about we both go to the gym and I lift your weights for you? Would that be a good deal? You get to sit there and fiddle around with your phone and, and, and this and that, and you're going to the gym, but I'm lifting your weights for you. Well, why? You know, because I make it easy for you. You might think that's a good deal, but you stay weak and I get stronger. See, that's what entitlement, that's what false entitlement is. It's a seduction. And that's why it qualifies as an indulgence as well. As we, as we go further into our discussions, we're going to talk about alongside or, or underneath this, this feeling of entitlement and indulgence is, is the core of who we are as human beings, which, which is really narcissistic, egocentric, and, and grandiose. Hence, instant gratification. And we live in a world right now that's just pounding us with opportunity for instant gratification. Um, it disguises itself as, as something healthy and liberating, but actually it's quite the opposite. And we're starting to see that now in research. So I hope this, 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 this reflection right now that I'm sharing with you around the difference between false and true entitlement was helpful. And so you can begin to understand how important it is for self-esteem, self-confidence to, to give something of yourself for anything you receive. I always say to parents, you need to facilitate sacrifice. Never give your son or daughter anything without asking for a contribution. And when I say never, I mean, you know, certainly... Uh, uh, you know, a benevolent gift uh, for birthdays and Christmas and stuff like this is, is all good. But, you know, even that needs to be monitored. But to just give your children things and not, not ask for some, some contribution, some sacrifice, um, you know, is, is not doing nothing but undermining a child. It, it's not respectful and it, it's not loving either. And, and, Again, this, this is something that we can talk about in a lot of different areas. It can be with employers. It can be with in marital relationships. Um, it can be with ourselves. So hope this is helpful. As you can see, this can go a lot of different directions, and I will, I will talk about all these facets uh, with you in, in following clips. I've written a number of articles. If you'd like to receive them, um, just email me, and I will put you on the email list and, and get some things out to you. Um, my email address right now, if you're interested, is, is quest1, Q-U-E-S-T, and the number one, at dccnet.com. Have a good evening. Take care.